my very last play in my 20 years just happened to be a major concussion. Now, if you were to ask me how many major concussions that I have in my 20 year career, I would have told you three, that being one of them, of course. And when I say major concussion, where I either blacked out or uh, memory lapses, three of those. But if you were to ask me how many just concussions I've had, I have no idea. So a year after I retired, I was approached by Jake Van Landingham, who developed this concussion drug, wanted to know if I wanted to get involved. He caught me at the right time. It was uh, something I was passionate about, obviously. And I just know that concussions are very serious. And so it made sense for me. Uh, it was perfect timing to, to get involved and, and hopefully see this through to where it can help some people. Obviously, being involved on my end means nothing scientifically. You know, that's not my job. I got involved prior to us acquiring the drug and did a lot of press, much like this now, uh, either in person, been to New York, been to Atlanta, uh, different places across the country, Miami at the Super Bowl, uh, basically bringing awareness to what we potentially have. Bringing awareness does not make the FDA approve this drug. We have to go through certain steps and protocols, and I've learned a lot with that. I'm passionate about seeing something change so many lives in the game I love. I would love to know that there's a solution for concussions other than we got to change rules, we got to get better helmets. Quite frankly, if my grandkids decide to play, I wouldn't cringe. Well, I probably would cringe every time they were tackled, but it's, it's something I'm very passionate about and, and want to see through to the end. I, I think one of the things that served me well throughout my career was my memory. I remembered plays, I remembered past defenses, uh, things that we did strategically, maybe in week one, that served me well in week 16. And I, I, I found that at, here the last several years, I see a face that I know, I know that person very well. Uh, to give you an example, last year we had the 20 year anniversary of our Super Bowl win in New Orleans uh, somewhere around week six in Green Bay last, last year. And 35 of the 52 or 53 players came back for it. I bet half of them, I, I knew the faces, but I could not remember the name. And it, things like that, forgetting words that are very easy words, seems like the easier words uh, are harder to, to come by than than the harder work. And I write it off as, you know, they say when you get to 50, your eyes go bad, everything else falls apart. So I'm, I, that's what I attribute it to. But I wonder. Now, friends that I've, I've had, teammates that I've had are, are a little more serious. Consistent headaches, neck pain. Uh, some have resulted in some, some type of surgery. I, on the other hand, probably should be in the same position that they're in, but at this point, I'm not. So I, I consider myself very lucky at 52 